Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to begin a new topic called c .NET. Basically, .NET is a very wonderful tool for creating the various types of application such as Windows application, web application, mobile application and many more. .NET framework provides you to use several languages inside it and c -sharp is one of them. In this video, we will get the introduction of c .NET along with some basic idea of what this programming languages are all about and along with that we will see some more features of c .NET. In coming videos, we will see some more technical concepts which will help us to create a program and an application. But before continuing with c .NET, make sure you have a good knowledge of .NET framework at least its component like JIT, CTS, CLS and the compilation process. We have a separate series for .NET framework. Please follow that if you don't have much idea about before getting started with C-Sharp.NET. So here what we will see like what is a programming language? If I say like I'm a person if I want to make a communication with you guys currently I'm using English as a language. Similarly, I may use some other languages like Hindi, French, German. But why will I use that? To pass my ideas, to give some commands or to make any communication. Similarly, when as a programmer, I have some idea and I want my system or my application to do such tasks, I'll have to transform my thoughts or my commands to instruct the system. And here, whichever language you will be using, it will be called programming language. Since first of all for creating an application, you will have to create some small programs and then logical integration of such programs will create an application. So we will start with the fundamentals. We will first of all learn a particular language to write a program and then after creating several programs and after a logical integration, we will be able to create an application. All right, so let's see what is all here. It's a formal computer language is used to create programs can be classified in generations. Now that's an important thing. Software designing is a very old scenario. Earlier software developer has to work with the first generation language. All these generation is actually classified on the basis of how easily you can exchange your ideas with the system using a language. So as we know, system understands its own system language maybe binary or something so initially when a developer wanted to communicate with the system he has to work with the machine language itself so first generation is nothing but the machine language in which a developer had to pass the instruction to a particular machine then it comes about the second generation where we got some assembly language where we found some English type mnemonics to pass the instruction. But even there, we used to work with registers and the mnemonic means uh, learning all the mnemonics for the several tasks was not that easy. So again, we jumped on the third generation language in which we are currently working the C sharp or many more languages you will find in the very same context. All right. So, as you can see, like here, we are writing it like C hash, but what we are pronouncing it? We are pronouncing it C sharp. Why we call it so? Basic idea is from the musical background where in the Western music, we have this notation for the higher notes. All right. So this hash represents the sharp. So we call it C sharp. It is founded by Anders Hilsberg and his team in Microsoft in order to create these several types of application supporting object oriented programming and many more. And this is one of the languages which is supported by the common language infrastructure that is CLI which allows this language to be compatible with the application development in .NET framework. Now let's see some more features of C -sharp. like it is strongly typed means whenever you will be using any data you will have to tell the data type of that particular data like what I'm going to process whether they are two strings like tutorials point or 
whether they are two numbers or which type of data is that. That may be a user defined data type as well. But whatever you are going to process in C sharp that must be having a type. So it is strongly typed. Object oriented. Object oriented simply means like when you will be performing the programming in C sharp it will also perform the object oriented programming that is the oops. If you don't have an idea about object oriented programming you don't have to worry even if you don't know anything about programming you are good to start with this C -sharp .net, as we will cover each and every topic which is required to learn you this programming language properly. Now comes to next point component oriented. Component oriented actually ensures that the separation of concerns must be there as while undergoing the development of an application you may have to perform several types of tasks. So each task must be defined in a separate block that should be independent of the another block so that first benefit will be you can reuse that particular component and second thing is if you will be making the changes in that particular component it will not affect the remaining things. So it should be it is component oriented as well. Multi paradigm. Multi paradigm means it will uh, undergo the multiple way of creating an application like you can perform the object oriented programming as well using one of the concepts called link that is language integrated query you can make the fetching of data means if different developers has their different idea of working they can choose the C sharp to make their applications as their own style. Event driven. Event driven is one of the part of application flow that on the basis of events any task will be taken place. For example if I have a calculator so for that particular calculator the flow like which numbers are there and which operation you need to go it's not predefined it all is defined at the runtime when a particular user is clicking on the buttons or maybe key press any particular event so event driven is something when a user will execute a particular application in its own way and it is task driven as well under this task driven thing you will see like some asynchronous programming is going on like if some particular task is of higher priority we will execute that before the any other thing and here you can see a sample program like how your C sharp programming will look like so basically it's a simple program if you don't understand it it's fine in our next video first of all we will install Visual Studio so that we will be good to start the with the csharp.net and then we will see how to write the basic programs using csharp.net that's all for this video